Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about another type of duplexing device that is circulator. Another type of duplexer that is circulator. So, what do you mean by duplexer? I told you already in the previous videos. What do you mean by duplexer? Duplexer is a device which is the device. Duplexer is a microwave device. Duplexer is a microwave device. What is the purpose of this duplexer? Duplexer is a microwave device which is used to separate that or isolate transmitting and receiving signals, which is used to duplexer is a microwave device which is used to isolate or you can call it a separate transmitting. and receiving signals microwave is a uh, sorry duplexer is a microwave device which is used to isolate transmitting and receiving signals okay when we are using this duplexer we have to use the duplexer when we are using a single antenna for both the transmission and reception okay so when we use a single antenna for both transmission and reception then the duplexer has to be duplexer has to be used Okay, what happens if we don't use the duplexer simply high power signal enters into the receiver receiver damages Where the high power signal comes from that is coming from the Transmitting section only because we are using high power signals to transmit to a long distance in the radar systems That high power signal should not enter into the receiver So in further case we are using the duplexer at the input of both the transmitters and the receiver Simply during reception, the low power signal should not go into the transmitter because we are receiving very weak signal. If that echo signal is again divided, we don't have any signal to receive and to further process. <coughs> that is the main purpose of duplexer. So this type of duplexing device, duplexer devices can be of different types in the microwaves. So examples of the duplexers are examples of duplexers are can you give me an example one is directional coupler we can call it as a duplexer directional coupler we can call it as a duplexer and second one circulator as a duplexer and third one isolator isolator as a duplexer okay so these are the different types of uh, microwave components that can be used as a duplexer in the transmission line of the microwaves so directional coupler already we have seen in the previous uh, videos the directional couplers we have seen like uh, uh, what is that balance type duplexer and branch type duplexer balance type duplexer branch type duplexer in these two balance type duplexer is uh, the best example for the duplex uh, directional coupler operation okay uh, where it is having four ports one port is applied with input and uh, two ports are uh, one port is applied with antenna another port is applied with receiver another port is permanently terminated in one case and or you can also use for the dummy load so it is a four port device Direction coupler is nothing but four port device. Three ports are completely in operation. One port may be a terminated or it can also be used to connect it to the different loads. Circulator. What is the circulator? I will explain what do you mean by circulator and how many ports are there. So circulators are generally available in three or four ports. Okay, number of ports may it also be increased depending on the applications. So circulators are generally, generally in our laboratory you might have seen a circulator 
and you might have done uh, the microwave experiments on this uh, circulator and directional coupler as well okay so a uh, circulator generally available in the laboratories with three ports and four port uh, circulators are also there i will explain what is the purpose of each and every port in the circulator isolator is having a three port isolator is a three port microwave component which is used to transmit the power in only one direction if any reflections are there that are simply terminated okay it transmits signal in only forward direction so like that we have different types of components in the microwave devices that can be used to serve the operation as a duplexer okay so now let us see what is the purpose of circulator in the duplexer components see this is the circulator where we are using the circulator as a duplexer in the transmission line here this circulator whatever the example i am going to explain this circulator is a four port device with one port is grounded with one port is grounded this is connected to ground this is the first port this is second port and this is third port okay now what is the main purpose of the circulator is when input enters from one port that will be delivered to the next succeeding port okay the construction of the circulator is in such a way that i will explain here see the circulator construction construction of circulator is in a way that so if you have a circulator like this this is the first port take a three port circulator i am explaining for a three port circulator this is the third port so first port second port third port when signal enters into this first port the construction inside the circulator it tells the signal to go into the forward direction that means what is the forward or next port for the first this will be second port so the signal will be going to the second port and the signal will be coming out in this way okay and no power enters in backward direction okay we have to remember one thing here circulator works in either circulator works in either clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction okay circulator works in either clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction we have to remember this point in uh, in mind <clears throat> so here depending on what type of rotation whether it is a clockwise or anti clockwise we need to explain the operation else it will be a mistake so without uh, discussing the clockwise or anti clockwise you should not tell the operation of the circulator so in which direction i am explaining now clockwise so you should say the circulator works in clockwise direction okay the clockwise direction means when the input occurs in the first port that will be going to the clockwise direction which is the second which is the next port for this two okay so when the input enters into the th first port that will be going to the second port and no power enters into the third port and similarly when the input enters from the second port that again comes in this direction and goes out from the third port so we, when the power enters into the circulator from one port the next port which is the succeeding port for that that will be benefited and the next remaining ports are simply terminated from the transmission line okay this is the operation with respect to the uh, clockwise direction suppose if you are saying in the anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction means when power enters from one port the backward port nothing but in the anti clockwise suppose if the power enters from the first port enters from the first port which is the backward port for the third port so the power goes into the third port and no power enters into the second port that is anti clockwise direction 
okay so clockwise or anti clockwise both are opposite directions so benefited ports will be different now with this concept let us see the operation of how this transmitter and receiver and antenna are connected uh, so during transmission this is clockwise direction see the direction is given for every circulator one circle will be there one circle will be there and direction will be there okay this direction shows the <coughs> like movement of power delivery of power in which direction the power is being delivered okay clockwise or anti clockwise every circular is having this symbol okay either in this direction or in this direction definitely he or she should mention that okay so during transmission what happens during transmission the power enters from the first port i told you already the power which enters into the first port should go to the next port which is nothing but second port in the clockwise direction so second port is nothing but antenna that is benefited and antenna will radiate the power into the free space during reception the antenna will collect the signal and that signal enters into the port 2 which is the next port 3 so that signal will be going into the third port so this received signal is passing through a receiver protector okay receiver protector is used to protect the receiver because we are receiving the signal from some other uh, sources like antenna or if any damage occurs in the circulator the transmitted signal directly we may reach the receiver okay we cannot completely rely on the operation of the circulator so if such things happen like a, a, a transmitter uh, the circulator if it may not work properly then the transmitted signal directly enter into the receiver so it is simply receiver damages so, see, in such cases we are using a passive tr limited tr limited is nothing but transmitter and receive tube so what happens when high power enters into them it simply acts as short circuit and the signal will be stopped here only and it will not reach the receiver so for that we are using a extra tr limiter normally this tr limiter is not required directly the signal is connected to the receiver but when during the failure cases of this circulator definitely we should use this tr limiter as a circuit component so this is the way how the circulator is working in clockwise or anti in clockwise or anti clockwise direction thank you